Hello students, you are most welcome in the YouTube channel Advent Edu and as you know that uh, the class 9 physics has been started and uh, its first part of video has been launched and in the first part we have discussed about the motion and its types now in the second part we will discuss about the distance and displacement distance and displacement plays very important role in the uh, motion and uh, to understand the motion it is necessary to know about the knowledge and information of distance and displacement so first of all we have to take the knowledge about the distance and displacement so what is distance as you know that when anybody starts when anybody starts its uh, travel from uh, initial point, from an initial point and reached after some time at any other certain point then the total length of the path which was traveled by the moving object is known as distance and what is displacement displacement is that physical quantity which shows the difference between the final position and initial position and it takes the direction because there are two types of the physical quantities number one is scalar quantities and number two is vector quantity the scalar quantities are those physical quantities which can be explained without the direction its magnitude necessary only but uh, there is no necess necessity of the direction and the vector quantities are those quantities which have which requires the direction the scalar quantities does not require the direction but the vector quantity requires direction and displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity so distance does not require the direction but displacement requires direction necessarily so distance needs no direction and displacement needs direction so the displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity and if anybody starts its travel from uh, point O to A and after some time it will reach at the point B then the addition of the length of the path OA and AB we will get the total distance traveled by a moving object that is OA plus AB and the value of OA is 3 unit and AB is 4 unit so total distance is equal to OA plus AB and uh, value 3 plus 4 will be equal to 7 so here we can see that the total distance of the moving object is 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 units 7 unit is the distance which is traveled by a moving object and what is displacement? so to find out the value of the displacement we will use <coughs> the Pythagorean formula in for this case and uh, here is the base is 3 and uh, uh, perpendicular is 4 and uh, if we use the Pythagorean theorem we will get the uh, as you know that in the Pythagorean theorem the statement is that the square of the square of hypotenuse it means OB square will be equal to the addition of the base square square of base and square mm -hmm. of perpendicular AB so AB OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square is, uh, is situated according to the Pythagorean formula and uh, by the using of the Pythagorean formula we will calculate the value of displacement which is OB so we can write OB is equal to under root OA square plus AB square and the value by the putting of the value OA 3 and AB 4 we get 
get the result 3 square will be 9 and 4 square will be 16 and after adding 9 and 16 we will uh, we get 25 and the value of the under root 25 is 5 so you can say that the displacement of the moving object OB is equal to 5 units so 5 unit is uh, displacement and 3 plus 4 equal to 7 units is the total distance of the moving object so <laughs> in this uh, case we can calculate the distance and displacement here we see a very important top very important point that is if any body starts its travel from an initial point then its displacement may be zero but distance cannot be zero if body has started its motion how can you say that the displacement may be zero but distance cannot be zero because if anybody is starts its travel from, from from the point O to A and after that A to B if body returns to its final its initial position then its displacement will be zero like this body starts from the point O and it reaches the point A and after that it reaches the point B and after that it returns to its initial position that is O so here the fire position and initial position becomes coincide and in this situation we can say that the displacement of the moving object will be equal to zero but distance is not equal to zero because distance is the length of the path length of the path distance is the length of the path and length is not equal to zero here length is not equal to zero so you cannot say that distance is equal to zero but displacement is equal to zero because the moving body reaches or returns to its initial position that is very important uh, point that uh, distance cannot be zero but displacement may be zero if body starts its travel from an initial point and reaches after some time its uh, initial point it means that uh, body is uh, in the returning to its uh, initial position so that is very important <coughs> point and uh, as you know that uh, <coughs> i hope that this point uh, will be helpful for you and if you have any comments you can comments on my youtube channel and your suggestion will be welcomed by me and uh, what are the video comments please comment me and tell me about uh, what you feel so thanks a lot and we will meet in the next video in the part 3 okay so have a nice day have a good day